Hey, I have a question for you. How much does air weigh? This might sound strange because air doesn't feel like, well, anything. It surrounds us. We inhale it to stay alive, but we pretty much ignore it most of the time. Air is still made of stuff. All of the molecules that make up air, like nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, all still have mass, so it must weigh something. But how much is something? Let's think of it this way. Imagine a one centimeter squared column of air. That centimeter square column of air stretching from your head to space would weigh one kilogram. What about all of the air above you? Well, that pressure is the equivalent to the weight of a small car pushing down on you all the time. To demonstrate this, I have this strange contraption. It's called a Magdeburg plate, and it consists of these two plates, a rubber ring, and a system of valves and a syringe, which allows us to suck the air out from between these two plates. And as I do that, we create a mini vacuum on the inside. There we go. So if I take this valve off, here we go. Now, all of the air around these two plates is pushing down on the vacuum between them. So, let's see if there's anyone out there who can separate these two plates. So there's a lot of air pressure all around you exerting a great amount of force. But why don't you feel anything? Well, the air exerts this force in all directions. It doesn't just push down, it pushes up and balances out the force on your body. Your body is used to this pressure. Our bodies are also flexible enough to cope when the internal and external pressures aren't exactly the same. So what happens without any air pressure? First of all, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. This is called a bell jar. We can hear the bell inside as the air carries the sound waves. But if we suck all the air out, nothing. When the pressure returns, we can hear it again. But what if you were inside the jar? Well, it's a bit too dangerous to carry out with a real person, so I've made one out of marshmallows. So we've got our marshmallow man inside the jar, attached to a vacuum pump. So let's suck all of the air out and see what happens to him. With you and me, this would be a little different. We would expand a bit, but we're not as stretchy as marshmallow. Also, since gases can escape liquids more easily at lower pressures, the liquids in your body would begin to boil. In short, not good for you. So that's why you constantly holding up the weight of a small car is the same reason that an astronaut wears a spacesuit. If you have any pressing questions, then feel free to ask us in the comments section below. You can write to us on Facebook or Twitter, or why not visit us and find out more. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.